seventh lecture on the book of John. The message is from chapter eight. The title of the chapter is The Truth. I will give you the main points of the chapter. First, Jesus forgives the adulteress. Verses 1 to 11. Second, Jesus bears witness about himself. Verses 12 to 20. Third, Jesus talks about his death. Verses 21 to 30. Fourth, the truth will set you free. Verses 31 to 43. Fifth, those who are of the devil cannot believe the truth. Verses 44 to 50. Sixth, Christ was there before Adam lived. Verses 51 to 59. Verses 1 and 2, let us read. But Jesus went to the Mount of Olives early in the fall. All the people came to him, and he sat down and taught them. Jesus entered the temple and taught the people. He first prayed, and then he taught. The great power of God was with Jesus. Verses 3 and 4 The scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in, in adultery, and placing her in the midst, midst, they said to him, Teacher, this woman has been caught in the act of adultery. The scribes and the Pharisees tested Jesus. They brought a woman who had been caught in adultery. Verse 5 says, Now in the law Moses commanded us to stone such woman. So what do you say? According to the law of Moses, anyone caught committing adultery was to be stoned to death. Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 22, Leviticus chapter 20 verse 10. Done it to answer to this question. They wanted to catch Jesus making a mistake. If Jesus told them to kill the woman, they would say, Jesus has no love. They also would say, You are not better than Moses. If Jesus told them not to kill the woman, the Pharisees would condemn him by saying, Jesus breaks the law. Verse 6 This they said to test him, that they might have some charge to bring against him. Jesus bent down and wrote with his finger on the ground. The Pharisees were looking for a reason to bring a charge against him. They were testing Jesus. As this happened, Jesus wrote with his finger on the ground. Verse 7 And as they continued to ask him, he stood up and said to them, Let him who is without sin among you be the first to throw a her. Jesus said to them, Let him who is without sin among you be the first to throw a stone at her. After saying this, Jesus bent down and wrote on the ground. The people felt guilty in their consciences. Then, starting with the older ones, one by one, the people started to leave the scene. Eventually, only Jesus and the woman remained. Jesus said, 
that he without sin should throw the first stone. There is no one who is without sin. Everyone is a sinner before God. We need to love our neighbors as ourselves. Luke chapter 10 verse 27 Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 5 Leviticus chapter 19 verse 18 We must hate sin and love people. We are not judges. Jesus is the judge. Also, there is no one without sin. Ever looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery. Matthew chapter 5 verse 27 Upon hearing this, the people felt guilty and they all left. Jesus had taught them the fundamental idea of the law. Verse 10 Jesus stood up and said to her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? Now, no one remained but Jesus and the woman. Everyone who had brought a charge against the woman had gone away. No one was there to condemn the woman. Verse 11 She said, No one, Lord. And Jesus said, Neither do I condemn you. Go, and from now on sin no more. Jesus also said that he does not condemn her. He forgave this woman of her sins. Jesus did not come to judge, but he came to save. John chapter 17 Jesus saved this woman whose fate was to die. He showed her mercy and grace. Jesus forgives any sinner who repents. He also told the woman to sin no more. After we come to believe in Jesus, we must make sure we do not sin. We need to have a fresh start. We have become a new person. We must live new lives. If we do sin, we must repent immediately. Then the Lord will forgive us and He will receive us. True repentance means clearing away all the sins of the past. We must make a 180 degree turn and return to God. Furthermore, we must cease to commit our sins of the past. This is true repentance. Verse 12 Again Jesus spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world, who is meek in darkness, but will have the light of life. Jesus is the light of the world. He is the light of life. Darkness represents sin and death. In Jesus is life and truth. In Jesus is righteousness. Anyone who believes in Jesus and follows, and follows Him knows God. This person's spirit comes alive. He will also walk the path of truth and righteousness. Verse 13 So the Pharisees said to him, You are bearing witness about yourself. Your testimony is not true. The Pharisees say that Jesus' testimony cannot be true. They thought that because he was bearing witness about himself, it could not be true. However, Jesus is the way, the truth, 
and the life. Jesus may bear witness about himself, but it is true. Verse 14 Jesus answered, Even if I do bear witness about myself, my testimony is true, for I know where I came from and where I am going, but you do not know where I come from or where I am going. Even if Jesus bears witness about himself, his testimony is true. Jesus knows where he came from and where he is going. Jesus came from heaven. He came from God. And in this world, Jesus carried our redemption on the cross, and he resurrected and ascended into heaven. Therefore, Jesus' testimony is true. God sent His one and only Son for us. Jesus came because God sent Him. Jesus only spoke the things that God commanded Him to speak. Therefore, Christ's testimony is true. Therefore, the Jews judge people based on their flesh. Jesus speaks the spiritual truth. However, the Jews judge Jesus according to their human wisdom and thoughts. We cannot believe in Jesus in our human wisdom. Spiritual truths are understood by those who are spiritual. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 13 The Pharisees are wrong in judging according to the things of the flesh. In verse 15, Jesus said, I judge no one. Jesus came to save sinners. John chapter 3 verse 17 However, if we do not believe God, we will eventually be judged. Verse 16 Yet even if I do judge, my judgment is true, for it is not I alone who judge, but I and the Father who sent me. Even if Jesus judge, his judgment is true. It is true because Jesus does not judge alone. He judges with God. The law says that when two people bear witness, the testimony is true. Deuteronomy chapter 17 verse 6 Because God the Father and Jesus both bear witness, they are true. Their testimony is true. Our Jesus is always with God the Father. Jesus speaks and works according to the Father's commands. Therefore, Jesus' testimony is true. Verse 18 I am the one who bears witness about myself. And the Father who sent me bears witness about me. Jesus and God the Father both bear witness. Therefore, the testimony is true. Verse 19 They said to him, Therefore, where is your Father? Jesus answered, You know me. If you knew me, you would know my Father also. The Jews did not believe Christ. That is why they could not know God the Father. Because they did not know Jesus, they did not know God. If the Jews had truly known God and the Scriptures, they would have known Jesus. 
God the Father bore witness about Jesus. Matthew chapter 3 verse 17 Furthermore, Scripture bears witness about Jesus. John, John chapter 5 verse 39 For this reason, we can believe in Jesus through the Bible. Through the Holy Spirit, we are able to believe in Jesus. Verse 20 tells us that Jesus taught this in the temple. Jesus spoke in the treasury. However, no one tried to arrest him at this time. This is because the time had not yet come for his death. 1. So he said to them again, I am going away, and you will seek me, and you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. Jesus is talking about his death on the cross, his resurrection, and his ascension. Now Jesus will go to God the Father. However, the Jews did not believe in Jesus. They rejected him. That is why they could not go where Jesus was going. That is why the Jews did not understand his words. They heard this and thought Jesus would commit suicide. The Jews only thought about things in the human sense. Verse 23 He said to them, You are from below. I am from above. You are of this world. I am not of this world. People of the world are born from below. They are born on this earth. They are in sin. However, Jesus is from above. Christ was with the Father in heaven from the beginning of eternity. Christ came to this world in flesh. Jesus is holy without sin. Verse 24 I told you that you would die in your sins, for unless you believe that I am He, you will die in your sins. Everyone is born with sin. Whoever does not believe in Jesus cannot be forgiven of their sin. Whoever is not forgiven will perish. Verse 25 So they said to him, Who are you? Jesus said to them, Just what I have been telling you from the beginning. Jesus told them that he is just what he was telling them from the beginning. God introduced Christ from the time of Adam. Christ was witnessed from the time Christ was revealed to the leaders and prophets before he came. 1 Peter chapter 1 verses 10 and 11. Verse 26. I have much to say about you and much to judge, but he who sent me is true, and I declare to the world what I have heard from him. Jesus is talking about the miserable state of those who do not believe in him. Jesus shines his light on those who are in the darkness. He delivered the word of truth. Jesus is true. God who sent Jesus is also true. Jesus brings what he received from the Father and he delivers it to the people of the world. Verse 27 
they did not understand that he had been speaking to them about the Father. The Jews did not know God the Father. They did not realize that Jesus was delivering of God. Verse 28 So Jesus said to them, When you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you will know that I am He, and that I do nothing on my own authority, but speak just as the Father taught me. Jesus said, When you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you will know that I am He. Jesus is saying He will be nailed to the cross. Furthermore, it means that Jesus will resurrect from the dead and ascend to heaven. Through these works, we know that Jesus is Christ. We also know that Jesus does what, whatever, the, whatever God the Father tells Him to do. Jesus is always with God. Jesus is with God. Also, Jesus only does things that will give God joy. After hearing these things, many came to believe in Jesus. Verses and so Jesus said to the Jews who had believed him, If you abide in my word, you are truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Here, Jesus taught the people how they could become true disciples. If we believe in Jesus, we become His disciples. What must we do to be a true disciple? The Word of God must dwell in us. In other words, we must obey the words of Jesus. We need to become more like Jesus, our true teacher. Matthew chapter 11 verses, verse 29 We must learn from Jesus. We must also rejoice in God's word. Psalm 1 verse 2 We need to abide in God's word, obey the word, and walk with Jesus. Afterwards, we must know the truth. We must know the proper truth. We must spiritual world and understand what the truth is. The more our spirits grow, the more we come to realize the truth. The truth will set us free. This refers to the freedom of our spirits. The truth will liberate us from sin and death. It will set us free from death, fear, and worries. This truth will give us life, joy, comfort, and peace. If we depart from the truth, it becomes sin. A fish is free when it is in the water. People are free when they are on land. We believers must abide in the Word. We enjoy true freedom when we stand in the light. Obeying the Word is having freedom. Galatians chapter 5 verse 1 Verse 33 They answered him, We are offspring of Abraham, and have never been enslaved one. How is it that you say, you will become free? The Jews said that they are offspring of Abraham. They are saying they are not slaves. The Jews claimed that they are free. 
they do not know what they speak of. The Jews believed that participating in religious ceremonies had set them free. They did not know Jesus. They did not know the truth. Therefore, their spirits did not have freedom. Participating in religious ceremonies or appearing to be religious do not give true freedom. Verse 34 Jesus answered them, Truly, truly, I say to you, everyone who practices sin is a slave to sin. If we sin, we are slaves to sin. Second Peter chapter 2, verse 19 If we sin, we lose to the devil. We become slaves to sin and to the devil when we sin. We must from being slaves to sin. Verse 35 says that slaves to sin are kicked out of the Father's house. Only the Son can live forever in the house of the Father. Jesus, who is the Son, will set us free. The freedom that Christ gives us, which is spiritual freedom, is true freedom. It is freedom in the truth. There is life and blessing in this freedom. Verse 37 I know that you are offspring of Abraham, yet you seek to kill me because my words, my word finds no place in you. The Jews boasted in being descendants of Abraham in the flesh. Jesus acknowledged them as Abraham's offspring. However, they did not have Abraham's faith. Abraham believed in the Christ who was to come. But these Jews did not have Abraham's faith. Not Verse 38 I speak of what I have seen with my father, and you do what you have heard from your father. The Jews did not receive Jesus' words. Jesus told them what he saw with God the Father. God taught Jesus his truth. However, the Pharisees have a different father. Their father is the devil. Verse 44 tells us this. They are acting as the devil's slaves. They do not know Jesus. They do not know the truth. Verse 39 They answered him, Abraham is our father. Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would be doing the works Abraham did. The Jews asserted that they are children of Abraham. But Jesus told them, that they did not have Abraham's faith and did not do Abraham's works. He said this, did not know Jesus tried to kill him. Verse 41 You are doing the works your father did. They said to him, We were not born of sexual immorality. We have one father, even God. The Jews boasted in their bloodline. They said that they were not born of sexual immorality. The Jews said that God is their father. However, they were doing the work of the devil. They tried to arrest Jesus and kill him. They told lies. They do not know the truth. Therefore, they are acting as the devil's slaves. Verse 42 
Jesus said to them, If God were your Father, you would love me, for I came from God, and I am here. I came not of my own accord, but He sent me. If the Jews truly believed in God the Father, they would have believed in Jesus. They would know the name. However, they did not realize who Jesus is. They did not understand His words. They did not accept the word of God. Verse 44 You are of your father the devil, and your will is to do your father's desires. He was a murderer from the beginning, and does not stand in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks out of his own character, for he is a liar and the father of lies. Jesus said that the devil is the Pharisee's father. The devil was, was a murderer from the beginning. He does not stand in the truth. He was a liar from the beginning. He is the father of lies. From the beginning, the devil confused Adam and Eve with lies. He entered into Cain's heart and had him kill his brother, Abel. The devil works in these ways. Murder and lies the devil. We must not give false testimonies. We must not lie. Jesus is truth and He is faithfulness. We must be truthful as believers. If we hate someone, we are committing murder. We must rid ourselves of envy and murder. Verses 45-46 to 46. But because I tell the truth, you do not believe me. Which one of you convicts me of sin? If I tell the truth, why do you not believe me? Jesus told the truth. However, the Jews who were guided by the devil rejected Jesus. They did not understand Jesus' words of truth. Rather, they tried to find fault in him, arrest him, and kill him. In this way, the Jews were slaves to the devil. People who belong to God listen to God's word. Believers hear the voice of God. John chapter 10 verse 4 Belong the truth and receive it with joy. Those who have not received the truth bear witness to the fact that they do not belong to God. Verse 48 The Jews answered him, are we not right in saying that you are a Samaritan and have a demon? The Jews slandered Jesus. They slandered him by saying he was a Samaritan. They slandered Jesus by saying he was possessed by a demon. They do not know who Jesus is. Because these people are slaves of the devil, they have become spiritually dark. They belong to the darkness and sin. They do not repent. Therefore, they cannot believe in Jesus. Verse 49 Jesus answered, I do not have a demon, but I honor my Father, and you dishonor me. Jesus is not demon-possessed. He honors God the Father. Jesus obeyed only God's will. glory of God. Jesus did not seek His personal glory. He only sought for the glory of God. 
God is the judge of all these things. God judges good from evil and sin from righteousness. Those who criticize Jesus and reject him will be judged before God. Verse 51 Truly, truly, I say to you, if anyone keeps my word, he will never see death. Whoever keeps Jesus' word will never die. By believing in Jesus, a person's soul comes alive. He avoids judgment. We must believe in Jesus and keep His word. Verses 52 and 53 The Jews said to Him, Now we know that you have a demon. Abraham died as the prophets, as did the prophets. Yet you say, If anyone keeps my word, he will never taste death. Are you greater than our father Abraham and the bride? Who do you make yourself out to be? The Jews considered the truth to be in the physical sense. They did not think it to be the spiritual truth. Jesus said that whoever keeps his word will never see death. Verse 51 The Jews did not understand what this meant. If we believe in Jesus, we have eternal life. Our spirits are given life. When we die, our bodies return to the dust. Our bodies that have returned to dust will resurrect when Jesus returns. However, the Jews did not understand the truth. Verse 54, Jesus answered, If I glorify myself, my glory is nothing. It is my Father who glorifies me, of whom you say, He is our God. Jesus gave glory to God alone. He did not direct the glory to Himself. He only spoke the truth. God Jesus. God bore witness about Jesus. If someone truly serves God, he will serve Christ, whom God has sent. If someone truly serves God, he will believe in Jesus. Verse 55 But you have not known him. I know him. If I were to say that I do not know him, I would be a liar like you, but I do know him, and I keep his word. The Jews do not know God the Father. They call him Father, but in reality, they do not know God. If someone does not believe in Jesus, he does not know the Father. If Jesus had said that he does not know God, he would be lying. He would be lying because he does know God. Jesus is equal to God. He came to this world because God sent him. He kept the word of God. Jesus lived only for the glory of the Father. Verse 56 Your father rejoiced that high day. He saw it and was glad. God promised Abraham that one of his descendants would be the Christ. Genesis chapter 15 verse 5, Genesis chapter 22 verse 18, Galatians chapter 3 verse 16. Abraham believed this promise. He looked forward to the Christ to come and believed. He believed and was glad. Abraham received the Christ who was to come, and he was joyful. He believed God would send Christ as one of his descendants. That is why Abraham is the father of faith. 
to say it again, Abraham believed in the coming Christ. The Jews call themselves children of Abraham, but they do not have Abraham's faith. For this reason, they did not believe in Jesus. Verse 57 So the Jews said to him, You are not yet fifty years old, and have you seen Abraham? The Jews thought about Jesus in the physical sense. They asked, And have you seen Abraham? Verse 58 Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, Before Abraham was, I am. Jesus is teaching them about His divine nature. Jesus Christ is God as a person of the Trinity. He is an eternal, self-existing being. Hence, Christ was there before Abraham was. He was with God the Father as God before creation. Verse 59 so, th so they picked up stones to throw at him, but Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple. The Jews picked up stones to kill Jesus. Jesus hid and went out of the temple. The time had not yet come for Jesus to die on the, cro on the cross. Jesus only preached the word of God. He bore witness about the fact that He is Christ sent from God. As pastors, we must live solely for the glory of God. We must glory to God. Like Jesus, we need to obey God's will. We must fulfill the will of God. We must always walk in the truth according to the truth. Our spirits have true freedom in the truth. This concludes our seventh lecture on the book of John. Thank you.